Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be able to go into more detail about my suspension. I'm going to show a lot of things that I was kind of worried about showing yesterday. Um, I think it's clear at this point that the suspension is clearly targeted, and I'll further prove that in this video. I'd also further prove that it's completely unjustified and they have no grounds. I'll give my opinion on a lot of things, talk about things in more open, uh, in more open manner. Um, but first and foremost, I want to thank you guys so much for the overwhelming support, uh, not only to me, but just on all the videos and spreading it around. I I've received literally over 100 DMs from even just random people on Reddit, uh, Twitter, everywhere, uh, saying, you know, hey, man, we stand with you. You know, this doesn't make any sense, blah, blah, blah. So... The support has been unbelievable. Uh, almost 3,000 likes on the last video, which is unbelievable. I don't think I've ever seen that on any one of my videos, ever. So thank you so much for that. Um, but this video is going to kind of encompass a lot of stuff. So if you don't typically watch all the way through my videos, this is a good one to sit down and watch all the way through. I'll try to keep it as concise as possible. I don't like making my videos overly long. Um, one thing I do want to show up front is actually a tweet, and I'll just uh, go ahead and show you guys right now. So this is a response to what Nikolai had to say about the situation from uh, BP McKee. And BP McKee is just, I, I believe he's a regular channel viewer of mine. I've seen him come in quite a few times. Um, and he says this, probably shouldn't be sharing screens of a combo between a dev and I. This is, this is the community manager, Kevin, the guy that I DM'd yesterday about this, and he has yet to respond to me. Uh, Probably shouldn't have been sharing screens of this, but fuck it. I've been reporting harassment for months, so BP McKee has been trying to report legitimate harassment for months, and apparently no action has been taken. When I tried reporting a player for calling devs something terrible, I was told this crazy double standard. If we look at this, this 100% confirms that the suspension on me is straight up BS and gar just garbage, basically. Bullshit. You read the highlighted section... We are only able to investigate and provide sanctions when it comes to incidents within the game, such as signs of individuals following you from match to match, hacking, cheating, or vulgar or harassing messages made within the game chat. So that right there is extremely telling in and of itself, right? That throws out the suspension from me completely. Um, but let's talk about some other things. So I think... Since it's out in the air now, everyone pretty much knows uh, what video that got me suspended. Um, and I know that video got me suspended for sure. But if you watch that video, which is, of course, the video where I'm uh, criticizing a developer and I basically critique statements that he made publicly with arguments. And if you watch that video, there is no harassment present in that video uh, whatsoever. And I stand by that. Now, another thing that I wanted to mention in this video is I'm aware of this consistent criticism from, from everybody, even friends of mine, um, that I, I really value their opinions. Um, for the longest time, everywhere I look, whether it's a topic about, you know, a Twitch clip of mine or a YouTube video or whatever have you, it's always people saying, Enders makes great points, but the way he does it is bad, right? And I want to change that. Right. I want to actually try to work towards that. I'm fully aware that in, in, when I make videos, you know, I edit my own videos or record all my own voiceovers. I have control of what the voiceover is. Right. So I'm a sarcastic motherfucker. I think it's I think it's funny. Right. I think some of the things I say are funny. I think a lot of people enjoy my sarcasm and the way I'm blunt and the way I'm straight forward and all that stuff. I'll still do that. But I think on more important topics. I'm going to take it like more seriously in the voiceover and I'm going to kind of omit that sort of stuff from more serious topics. Um, I'm still going to say the exact same thing that I wanted to say. I'm just going to give, basically, I'm just going to give nobody any reason to complain, right? And people will still complain because they, they'll think it's me like being fake or something. But, you know, what are you going to do? You can't make everyone happy. Um, I'm aware that I have to make changes on my end as well. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to make a, uh, con I can't speak English. I'm going to make a conscious effort to do that on uh, videos that have maybe uh, more of an impact potentially. One thing that I wanted to address with the video that got me wrongfully suspended is when people go back and watch that video, they're surprised to hear me call this developer by his real name. 
And I don't necessarily think there's any problem with that. Uh, I think there's a problem if you call someone by their real name and they don't want their real name to be exposed, right? That makes a total, that makes a lot of sense. But in this case, his real name is plastered everywhere. For instance, his full name is on his Battlefield 2042 developer Twitter account that he personally uses. He uses his full name on his own Twitter account. On top of that, on the Battlefield podcast episode that the video I made was on, his full name is listed with his job title under the official Battlefield podcast episode as a guest. So what am I going to call him? There's no game alias to use. He didn't give me like a uh, banana trooper 1958 to use, right? Maybe that's his game alias. I don't know. He didn't list it. Um, for instance, if Drunksy was on one of these podcasts, I've I would use Drunksy. I wouldn't call him Florian, even though he is pretty much called both Florian and Drunksy. So I wanted to address that because I, I don't necessarily think the complaints about me uh, naming a developer are valid when he names himself in public. Other than that, I really don't have anything else to say in this video. I'll do what I need to do on my end to give them less of a reason to ever suspend me. In my opinion, there was no reason to begin with, uh, especially after Total FPS's comments, but I'll give them even less of a reason now. So uh, if, they, if they suspend me a second time, I mean, like, basically jump ship because Battlefield is dead, boys. It's, it's over with. Um, thank you guys so much for the overwhelming support you guys have shown me. Uh, you guys are absolutely awesome, and I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll do what I need to do on my end, obviously. Uh, seven day vacation from Battlefield 2042. Thank fucking God. I mean, really, I'm playing modded Fall at New Vegas. Community's having a great time. We're listening to uh, uh, Big Iron, right? Uh, I'm, I got a cowboy hat on. I'm shooting ghouls directly in the fucking head. It's great. You know, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, community's loving the streams. And I don't miss Battlefield 2042 literally at all. Don't miss it at all. <laughs> Maybe 2042 video tomorrow. There's a couple news things I want to cover. Uh, so thank you guys again for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh, watch and learn. Okay. Um, flip that, and I'll ban you. Um, it's as simple as that. Uh, is there friendly fire? Did I just hit my teammate? Shut the fuck up! It is in the curse room. Well, this is interesting because now to get rid of this, we're going to be on heaven. All right. All right. So never take that trinket ever again. Got it. Sad bombs. Insane.